And I feel something rising. It's like the end of the movie Terminator. When Sarah, when Sarah Connor was in that Jeep and she was headed towards those mountains, the mountaintop. And she looked in the sky and said, there's a storm coming. When these brothers came and did overtime, our freestyle platform that we created during the pandemic so we could still give MCs the right to shine. I saw that and said, the storm has arrived. Citizens, I'm telling you this now in the same way we told you back in the 90s when Niles was a new artist on the barbecue. The same way we told you back in the 90s when Common was a new MC out of Chicago. The same way we told you back in the 90s when Eminem was just a battle rapper. The same way we told you in the 2000s with Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Big Sean, Currency, the list goes on. I'm telling you this as, as, as well as I know it. A storm has arrived in the form of the hoodies. The yes, hoodies sir. are here. Give them a big a round of applause, young yeah. Papa E-Class. But let me tell you something. They got the new album, Hidden Gems, is out right now. But let me tell you something. They are upholding the tradition that made this culture what it is today. They're young, they're vibrant, they're hungry. They're not doing this for money. I Facts. can already tell. Facts. They are not doing it for money. DC Youngfly just said, do it for the craft. Don't do it for the money or the celebrity. If they were doing it for the money, they easily wouldn't be connected to one of the most important people to ever come out of our culture. Hands down, I refuse to debate it with you. Because what was that line Jay-Z said, his uncle told him, when you argue with a fool... From a distance, folks can't tell who's who. Mm -hmm. And if you argue with me about this, then I can't even have the same conversation with you. This man is a legend for so many reasons. He's a pioneer when it comes to mixtape culture. He's a pioneer when it comes to A&R. He's a pioneer when it comes to DJ culture, club culture, radio culture. He's a pioneer when it comes to producing He's produced hits for everybody. He's given everybody. If he ain't produced your hit, he told you how to make it. Ask Jay-Z. And he got bars, too. <laughs> I was getting to that. <laughs> Young men fact. don't know how not to jump into my intros. Four, Heather. Four, this is their first time on the show. jumping into my intros. Four, 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 four. He's excited? I'm super excited. I ain't going to lie to you. My four, my four. Listen, I understand, brother. I'm giving you a hard time. I'm excited every time right. I see this man. This man calls me. He just calls to check in. Sway, how you doing? He calls me to get my opinion. Sway, what do you think of this? He invites me to his home. Mm -hmm. I sit in a room where he made all the magic. He doesn't know. He, we're friends. But I'm fanning out every time I'm next to this dude. Rightfully so. And I will for the rest of our days. I want to welcome the voice of hip-hop. Give it up for the one and only King Country. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm the hell with it, so sweat. Yo, Jesus. Ain't nothing written. Jesus. Ain't nothing written. Hey. Ain't nothing big. Written. <laughs> Give that man a standard ovation. We sold it 50, 50 years of hip hop. Give that man a standard ovation. <laughs> Out of that 50, you know how many years he's been responsible for us having a good ass time? Give it up for that man. That's a fact. Kid Capri, damn it. All right, hoodies. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sway's was, intros is legendary. That was off the top, too. That was off the top. You saw it, right? That was off the top. Crazy. Oh, uh, legendary. Come on, man. I, crazy. I just come from the heart, brother. I, this is what this is, kid. Right, right, right. This is what, Yo, Kid Capri, let me ask you this, bro. Yep. Fuck. You seen them all from Kiss as a beginner, mm -hmm. Jay-Z, when he first big. I saw the clip you put up, you and Big, recently. Yeah, yeah yesterday I put that up, yep. Shit, that was yesterday. Damn, mm -hmm. you see, I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you first, Young Papa is a member of the Hoodies. Absolutely. So when you when you first met Young Papa, yeah, when I first seen him, I was like, Yo, that's a that's a that's a young big right there. That's a young. I'm talking about as a young kid. I don't feel like that now. Yeah. I feel like he people will see that, but he is somewhere. He's in his own thing. But at first, I was like, Yeah, that's a young big. Mm -hmm. And you know now that people got to know him, 
you know, he got his own identity, of course, but he looked like Biggie's son. Hey, I remember the first time we heard King Tech and I heard live at the barbecue, bar, live at the barbecue. Shout out to Large Professor, one of the illest producers they ever lived. Mm -hmm. And we heard that Nas verse. Yep. I went to hell for snuff and Jesus. All this. <laughs> But it would beyond that, it was something you feel when you see certain artists and you hear certain. I felt that with Heather right. when we first started playing Heather's music. It's like, ah, oh, that's special. Mm -hmm. What did you feel when you first heard them? What? First of all, for the way they talk, you know, sometimes I, I look at people and say, how do they know to say that? How do they know that much? They're not old enough to know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how do they put that that way? They really lived that way yet. The way he talks is like he was like he got a, a line on one of the joints, like I was selling crack in '84. How you know what was going on in '84? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it's like you know it's 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 amazing. I'm gonna tell you this a, a, a story. When I first started with them, <clears throat> we went uh, down to Quad Studio and we did a, a song down there, and then I invited them to come to my studio for the next session. And when they walked in. The first four beats I played for them, they rhymed to the first four beats. They ain't write nothing. They ain't ask for a new track. They ain't complained about. They didn't like the track. And those four records is on the album that we just put out. Wow. That's a fact. I, when I seen that, I said, you know what? I love these dudes, man. I'm going to do their whole album. And we've been together ever since doing it. Facts. The hoodies, ladies and gentlemen. And soon as Kid Capri is here, Kid Capri is on like Barry Gordy. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, nah, nah, man. That's Kid Capri is our Barry Gordy. He's like Barry Gordy. The DJ became the A&R. DJs for years was telling record companies what single to go with. Yeah. Right? right? Absolutely. That's you why mixtapes got so big. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. how mixtapes got so big. Well, it got big because I made it big in what I was doing. You then it would change the game. Of course. You gotta, you you gotta, gotta, you gotta make shit. sure we understand. Get, okay. get the narrative straight. Okay. So I made it I made it gigantic. As a matter of fact, my mixtapes is on Apple Music right now. You can go get it. Go get it. that. Crazy. Go get that. But it, it, it was the beginning of, you know, the self-efficiency where you ain't had to depend on the radio station. You ain't had to depend on any of that. But after a while, I changed it to record companies. This was a major production, uh, um, promo for a record companies. Uh -huh. So record companies would seek out you know, the mixtape DJ to put these records on there so their records could be promoted. It became a real big thing for them. Yeah. So you know, now we in the internet, mixtape saying it's prominent. But at one time, it was the it was the talk of the town. It was the liaison to the business, Absolutely. really. Absolutely. Um, the hoodies are here. Kid Capri walked up in here with the hoodies. I don't know if you've done that since I've been on this channel. That's the truth. Well, yeah. my daughter. I well, your my daughter, daughter up here. I don't, you know. That's, yeah, that's, that's fair. That, yeah. I did that. I'm her yeah, uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Along with her, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vina Love. Shout out to Vina Love. Vina Shout love. out to Vina, Vina man. Vina's, yeah. Vina's incredible. Um, the hoodies are here. Mm -hmm. How much pressure? None. None. Nah, it's a lie. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm nah, lying. It's, it's, a, it's a lie. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, nah, it's 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 crazy for me. It's like nothing I ever seen before. It's it's a new experience. Um, working with Capri, it's um, it's been an amazing experience, man. What's the most amazing story Capri has told you? <sighs> wow, man. Oh, um, I'm not gonna lie. This story always stuck with me. Um, it was a story about Big Pun. Shout out to Big Pun. You know, mm -hmm. R.I.P. He said, um. I forgot how, but when he said somebody was messing up in the studio, and he just got tired of it, he bought his wife and his kid, his kids on his lap, and had his wife in the booth with him, went in there, one take it, and just left. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, I had- It was uh, crazy. What happened was, shout, shout to my brothers, I don't want to blast them out, but uh, I, I had a group, when I was on my last album, Soundtrack to the Streets, I had this group inside the booth. Okay. And they came to, to the session drunk, you know, and they was in the booth for about two hours trying to get it right, you know, and they, uh, you know, and at the time, Big Pun walked in to do his record, but he came in with his whole family. He brought his kids, his wife, everything. So I made the group come out the booth after a while because Pun was just sitting there waiting. I made him come out. Pun went in the booth, pulled the chair up, had his family stand around him, and sat down and did one take, one ad lib out the booth, 10 minutes. It was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. The same way with Jay-Z. Okay. When I produced this, like that record with Jay-Z on the Hard Knock Life, right? I, you know, we gave him Hard Knock Life. Yeah, yeah, it was sorry. 45 King, rest in peace. My brother just passed away. You got to you know. tell that story again now that he passed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, when I gave uh, Jay-Z, it's like that. We in the studio, Jay-Z, I, I threw the beat on. He just looking, his face was like this, just shaking his head, listen. He said, I'm ready. We're in the booth. 
and he did one take, one ad lib, and was out the booth. He didn't write nothing. I was like, yo, that's some crazy shit. How you do that? Yeah. It was the most amazing thing I ever seen. So he's deaf. He's deaf. When he says he does it, he really does it. I watched him do it. Yeah. You know, wow. Kid Capri is here, man. The hoodies Insane. are here. We celebrating this album. Um, who, in your opinion, like when we when we were coming up, Run DMC was that. You know that tandem, like mm -hmm. everybody wanted mm -hmm. to be Run DMC. Right. Now Peter Piper, pick rep. You know, who is who? Who, in your opinion, who's the best tandem? Mm -hmm. You know, rap group that you you guys probably was most inspired. Is it EPMD? Is it mm -hmm. Dice Effect? Is it is it Outkast? Who, who? Um, I feel like all them guys are just so legendary in their own way. But for me personally, for my personal pre like my preference, Styles and Jada. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's like, a fact. Yeah. That's yeah. just when I when I listen to back and forth, the way they put they shit together is just different. It's different. It's different. Like their chemistry is out of this world. You would think they blood brothers themselves. Cause right. Their chemistry is different. It's crazy. Uh huh. No, like when we did the in the whip with Styles and Jada, um, I'm sitting in the whip with them and they just like, yo, I said this, he said that, and they just put it together in like five yeah. minutes and then went. Right. I'm like, they just did it. Chemistry like, is yo. crazy. Like. So I'm like, yo, we got to really get on that time, bro. Mm -hmm. We got to be able to be so in sync that we can really, f like, my bar should coincide with your bar. Yeah. And yep. make it mesh together so it, it sounds like, it's like all one, one verse. Exactly. Yeah. And y'all exactly. friends. Y'all not relatives. Right? Nah, that's my brother. Nah, be blood. Oh, y'all brothers? Nah, yeah, that's my oh, blood shit, brother. Yeah. Blood yeah. brothers. Same, 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 same mom, same, same pop. Fake brothers. Nah, nah, nah. We nah. blood brothers. Same mom, same pop. And that's what happens with a lot of groups that sing. Their intonation be... On point because they blood brothers. They they have the same blood. They they right. write the same thing. That's so the fact. same thing with them. They, their flow. Like if you see them do my brother on the video, it's so seamless. It's just crazy how they do it. Different. Right. Yeah. Different. It's so That's funny dope. that Sway asked that question. And welcome to the show, y'all. I'm Thank excited. You. The hoodies are here. They arrived. The hoodies are here. When I told my husband who else that y'all was coming, he was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so mad I can't be here today. That's love. Just to sit he just sit in love out to y'all as well. But Sway touched on something about groups. Um, as we celebrate the fifty years of hip hop, I don't feel enough attention has been paid to groups. Mm. I just don't. I think about Smooth the Hustler with his brother Trigger. Mm. I think about M O P. Shout out to Billy Dance and and, and Fame. I've watched them in the studio do something so special is what you're talking about how how you can do that you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. like just work with somebody and be able to make it sound like a seamless record right. like it's just seamless right. is it ever a time where you guys who's the first one to check the other one um to say nah that that don't fit right who's more of the corrector in that situation um. you know it, it, it used to just be class because i was younger and mm. I had a hard time structuring a lot of my verses and all of that. But now I'm I'm so seasoned and experienced now that Let's go. we both could be like, nah, bro, I wasn't feeling that. Right. But I feel like it's equal in that sense. But definitely back, back then, class would be quick to correct me. And That's it's right. good to have that because you need, as a solo artist, imagine you don't have nobody but whoever's probably in the studio that day or the producer or the engineer to correct you. Right. To have that one person right there before it even gets started mm -hmm. to right there to keep it keep it going y'all it's it's so beautiful to watch what you guys thank are you. doing salute appreciate the, the you the hoodies thank are you. here the hoodies are here listen mm -hmm. citizens as we talk I want you to uh, go stream the new album it's Hidden Gems produced by the legendary kid Capri mm -hmm. alright where y'all from Ellenville, New York. That's a I fact. know that Ellen. probably. Yeah. Ellen got a city. Tired. Like where a lot of jails at. Yeah. 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 How far is that from Buffalo? Mad far. That's yeah. like okay. six hours six away. Hours. Yeah. Uh, we closer yeah. to the city than Buffalo. Yeah. Black yeah. people up there. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. It's real mm -hmm. diverse. It's a lot of different cultures up there. Yeah. 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 I'm just trying to, you know. I know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, when I said it, like when I say that to other people, they be like, where? Where you from? I'm like, yeah. Ellenville, New York. So right. you, you guys are establishing an identity for that region. Oh, Facts. absolutely. For sure. For sure. Okay. So yeah. what is that identity of that region? We don't know. It's it's weird. You know, we get a lot of our influence from New York City being that we closer. Okay. So it's not really like upstate culture, you know what I mean? But it's it's like, it's weird. It's a melting pot. It's uh -huh. a lot of people, a lot of different cultures in that area. So... It's for the small New York, though, you know, like we we just making it known that we not coming to play. Yeah, we, we here, right? We're and in areas like okay. that too, a lot of people who once resided in the city, that's where they end up. Right, right. just right. like in Rockland County. You know, I was I love that you guys are blood brothers mm -hmm. because one, you get to 
be grounded and have humility because y'all both were each other right. with right. each other for so long. And it's such a beautiful thing to dream together as well. Um, there are many different celebrities who have families within the industry, right? Mm -hmm. But they both decided to do their own thing. I think about mm -hmm. a Solange and Beyonce, and you guys have, it's not like you guys have two years apart. You have a pretty hefty number of years apart. Yeah. What made you guys want to be a duo versus pursuing solo careers and supporting each other like, like that? You know, it's it's funny because, you know, we, we eight years apart and all that, but... Who's I was the oldest? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we all look, yeah, nah, this, yeah. nah, this little big bro right here, right? No right, right. Yeah, no. that's, yeah, but um, baby face, big bro, right? <laughs> Damn. All right, go ahead. Eight years, I apologize. Go we ahead. we um we eight years apart and all that, but you know he always had me with him. I was always under the wing, like mm -hmm. everywhere I went, he was with me. He brought me with him, showed me the ropes to everything, like just explained life to me. You get what I'm saying? Cause our pops was incarcerated, so I was always with him as a a father figure, as a male role model, oh. and he was rapping before me so when i started rapping i felt like it was only right that i'm like yo i gotta i gotta let big bro hear what i got like mm -hmm. i got something to clip and he was feeling it and we jumped in the whip and it was history it was ever history since like, there, yeah. it was just natural we ain't come Word. up with no plan for it we just jumped in the whip two brothers trying to have fun and Word. it went to the top that was it and, beautiful and, to see that yeah truly you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's beautiful to see how e class you know directed him in the right way to do his thing, man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, to see the growth, you know, and how how they complement each other, how they they just love each other. They real brothers, like yeah. you know, that yeah. brotherly love, man. You can't get in between that at all. Nah, that absolutely shows, not. You know, so that's, that's fact. Really dope, I love man. it. Do y'all brush each other waves too? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I wish he would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, we ain't doing all that. I, ain't doing that. I mean, I both got the wave thing. Right, nah, but nah, okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. Not that though. Yeah, we, right. not, we not brothers no more. He tried that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got the hoodies up in here. We got the legendary Kid Capri. Yep. The album is hitting gems. Look, Young Papa said we don't play. I know it for a fact. I saw him on Funkmaster Flex that ripped that. Mm -hmm. Right. Shout out to Flex. I saw him on Overtime with swaying in them. Right. Mm -hmm. Swaying them. I wanna. You said y'all don't play, so we gonna play. We don't play around. Let's go. The hoodies. Eight four five in the building. Eight four five in the building. Yo, but didn't y'all do something with Ellen? Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Yeah, that was. Y'all saw that? Yeah. yeah. It was on the Ellen DeGeneres yeah, show. Yeah, she had yep. us up on the show. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. Early. Word. Oh, she, so, was it because of Ellen Bill or why, why? Why? Nah, she reached out because we went viral. Our first video that we ever did together went viral and her peoples reached out to us. Flew like, us you know, out. We gotta have y'all on the show. Yeah. Did she pay y'all something? Nah, wow. I'm sorry, Heather. <laughs> You're not going to get enough. Heather hates when I ask that question. Heather don't like when I ask that question. It's radio oppish. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, okay, did it get you opportunity when you hit yeah, the Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Absolutely. Sure, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, what, what did it lead to? Flex. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, shit. Yeah. Ah, flex. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out to it. Flex. What do you think? Nah, that's our family. Uh, uh, you know, and, and we, we uh, Kid Capri, Funkmaster, Flex, you know, these names, bro, that <laughs> that you get to stand next yeah. to. Shit, you know how hard it was to stand next to a Kid Capri coming up? Right, <laughs> shit, right. talk to him. No, no, it's not, an honor. Not just standing next to them, <laughs> but, you know, Capri and I are family because of our history with KRS-One and Boogie Down Productions, so Ooh. we go back, back, you yeah. know? But he, he can attest to the fact that if you even wanted to attempt to try to get your record played, you had to stand outside of a radio station with your 12 inch. Yeah. Right? You had to stand outside of a radio station possibly with your tape mm -hmm. and hope you could catch the DJ going in the car. Hope he'll coming out his car to go in the front building. He might go through the back, mm -hmm. but you ain't got access to the back. It's, right. it's all of these things. So to Sway's point, y'all sitting down with folks who have put their bricks and buildings and, and, and wings in this game, this right. hip hop museum, it's a beautiful thing, it's and an you honor. earned it. No, but you earned it though. Thank you. You earned Appreciate it because you. these are hard people to get past. Mm -hmm. Right. They they really are. They've mm -hmm. seen it all. Right. It's they're hard to get past for. So for them to look back and to bring you up and say, sit at my table. I just want to talk to you. I got a sentence for you. I got a paragraph for you. I'm gonna give you a play your record. 
it's such a blessing and I hope it serves as confirmation for what God has put you on this earth to do, to share that gift and have people hear y'all. It's unbelievable. For sure. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. I appreciate that for real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you got Mama Love crying over there. But <laughs> <laughs> you crying? <laughs> yeah. it, it, it is because we all that's know your how. Yeah, that's Mama Love over there. That's yeah, a fact. Facts. That's and God bless you, sister. But we all get, know get her on how camera, hard man. it is. Put her on the camera. You got to see the mother. <laughs> yeah. No, let me tell you yeah, something. When you got the parent that's supporting the kids in yes. our community, when they want to pursue being creative, that's it. Which they shut us out of being creative in grade school now. Right, we don't right, have right. music programs. programs. Mm -hmm. Those things is what make us as melanated people special. Right. right. To tap into those frequencies. So a lot of times parents don't understand it. It happened to us. Yes. Well, not maybe not you, but you know, parents and all. So when you support that, I salute Absolutely. to you. Put yeah. the mama right. on camera. Yes. Fact, right. Shout out to Miss Tiff, man. It's beautiful. It's crazy. Your my, sister or nah, 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 that's mama love. It's crazy she likes this, right? Growing up, you yeah. know, we didn't have a lot of opportunities where we was from. We in a mm -hmm. small town. All the businesses is shut down. It's nothing for the kids to do but get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So when I told my mother I wanted to rap, she put me in the studio at <laughs> seven years old. Wow. At Thanks. seven. Facts. When when I hit my teens, all my friends is out partying, doing what they doing. I'm in the studio, and that's the thing too. You know I seen saying? a lot of my bros growing up. Their parents did not believe in them like that, and it's sad to say. But you know, coming from where we from and the color of our skin and all that, a lot of a lot of parents don't be believing in the dream like that. They they want the standard nine to five. Yeah. They think it's. That's what you're supposed to do. But right. I wanted to do 50 things when I was little. I wanted to be a wrestler, a basketball player, mm -hmm. a rapper. And she supported everything I wanted to Every do. Every single one. Wholeheartedly, like, pumped mm -hmm. everything into me. So, you know. That's she amazing, gotta, man. She, she got to get the credit. She got to get the credit. Man, this group is the Hoodies. Being brought to you by the legendary Kid Capri. Eric's mm -hmm. on the line. You got a comment, E? What up, Eric? Yo, what up, yo? It's Eric Notes. No strangers to the show or to the Hoodies. What up, fam? Right. What's good, bro? Uh, what's good? What's good? What up, E? What up, yo? You already know I had to come and uh, come on here and support. And uh, I just want to tell you, you know, I had a question, but everything y'all talk about is so real. And I guess the main thing is, I think this is a lesson for anybody listening. Like, family support each other, man. The way your mom sticks behind you, the way y'all stick together is crazy. Mm -hmm. And everybody in the town knows it. In the surrounding areas, you already know the 845 work. Fact, Fuck fact. You so happy. And um, you're really putting on. And the album is crazy. The sound you're giving out, you're bringing such a nostalgic vibe to it. And to rock with Kid Capri, I mean, how does that feel, dog? Because, I mean. I still don't believe it. Like, you know, it's probably going to hit me, like, next year. Right. That's what, <laughs> like, that's one of the things that hit you after the fact. Like, yo, damn, I really did joints uh, with out Kid word. Capri. Like, like, that, it hits you after the fact. You, you like, you living in the moment oh, right oh, now. Wait, My, for, wait for part two, though. Right. right. Mind you, I, I talked talk to The Capri. next project? Oh, yeah. And one thing about Capri is, like, Capri <laughs> didn't just do the album and just, like, we on a music type of time. Capri really calls my phone. He's like, yo, what's up with you? How you doing? How you feeling? You good? Family good? You right. really tap in like a real OG. You get what I'm saying? So I, I just appreciate him on a whole different level outside of music too. Like Facts. he's a real one. Hey, did he real. treat you to lunch yet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, y'all ain't good. If you can't treat you to the lunch, y'all good, man. All right. Hey, yeah. hey, you a citizen, man. Yeah, for sure. Hey, we got kid Capri here. Kid, man. We got to get a cipher with these dudes. Absolutely. Mm. This is a celebration yeah. cipher. Their, cl their clip is full. Their, their clip is full. full. Their clip yeah. is full. What Let's about George? You want to get on, too? Which one? We got controllers over here. You know I'm a turntable guy. <laughs> okay. Well, then you do other things, too. I, I, yeah, I just... <laughs> the hoodies. The hoodies. I, 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 oh, I'm going to oh, back them oh, up. Okay. I'm going to oh. back them up. All right, cool, man. We got DB. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw the LL Cool J freestyle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. Wasn't that shit crazy, what? kid? Insane. Kid. And that's what he's... Rightfully so. Yeah. It shows that, you know, you still do what you do. Right. And he like... At a high level. At a high level, mm -hmm. LL was out before any of these dudes who don't like to rap. And that's the reason... <laughs> and, and, and not to jump off the subject, but that's the reason why I put the Love album out last year to yeah. show that, that growth. I could do that too. It doesn't right. matter wherever right. you come from. If you know what you're doing, just put it down on that record and it's going to speak for itself. It's going right. to speak for itself. The Love album was great. We played a lot of singles off that we album. Did. We had fun with the Love album. We sure did. All Thank right, you. but now we got Hitting Gems. Hitting Gems, And I know y'all came to Overtime. Right, right. Yeah, that was great that you did Overtime. That was sure. a prelude, though. Yeah, that's right. You know, 